What's up guys, Mane here, and we're back with another episode of Talking and Driving. So, in this episode, I'm not going to be talking about um, what's going on with me, you know, what I do. Uh, I'll be talking about this van. This van that I'm driving, you know, I drive this every day. And this is the 2017 Nissan Urban NV350. And uh, we bought this brand new back in 2017 around December or November I believe and then uh, it has served us really well and it also has proven itself to be reliable and uh, fuel efficient so well now uh, I would like to talk about the things that I like about this van and uh, you know, these are my personal opinions and uh, just to share with you uh, my experience with this and uh, hopefully it, or should I say if you are a would-be urban 350 NV350 buyer uh, I hope that you would find this video insightful and uh, helping you uh, choose the right vehicle for you or if you choose if you're thinking of the NV350 at least you have an opinion from me okay or from somebody else and I, yeah, again me so, yeah, I'm going to be telling you five things that I like, and in another episode, I'll be talking about the things that I don't like, and um, I'm going to have to park the vehicle for that, because I'll be pinpointing things that I don't like about this, but then, that's for that next video. So, uh, to start things off, um, what is the NV350? What is the Urban? Well, it's a van. It's a van, all right? You're meant to carry stuff, uh, carry people, do it, you can use it for business, you can use it for family, uh, and it's a very versatile platform. You can see a lot of people using this, like, for whatever reasons, like, I don't know, ambulance, or cargo delivery, personal use, like me, or loading stuff, carrying people, or let's say you are in the uh, transport business, you know, this would be a good option for you. And uh, yeah, anything in between. Now, the NV350 is powered by Nissan's YD25 turbo diesel engine, which is a 2.5 liter four-cylinder turbocharged diesel. Okay, diesel, how many times did I mention diesel? So, yeah. This engine, the YD25, you know, has been around for quite some time, and it is shared with a lot of Nissan's other models, like the Nissan Navara. First, second, and the current generation Nissan Navara. They use the YD25 engine, and uh, the current gen Navara, uh, with its configuration, produces around 190 horsepower, so amazing. For an engine this old, around 20, 20 years old, I believe, you know, it has the capacity to to produce that amount of horsepower. And uh, the torque numbers, uh, I forgot, but I believe it was around 480 newton meters, newton meters of torque. So, and I believe it's also the same for the newer Nissan Terra, which is Nissan's SUV. Now. As I mentioned, you know, this engine has been around for quite some time. I believe uh, 20 years, close to 20 years, or probably even more. So that is something to think about, you know. Not a lot of, you know, uh, manufacturers keep a certain engine model for so long and then use it on different platforms like SUV, pickup, van, you would call it so yeah it's a reliable engine and uh, it's very efficient by the way okay like earlier today you know I was running low on fuel and uh, I gassed up at our gas station because uh, uh, my dad owns a gas station and I'm basically working for him so I gassed up and then um, I filled her up with approximately 50.99 liters of diesel so that leaves about, 
I was probably left with probably nine or ten liters of reserve fuel and uh, you know with that fill up you know I managed to get like 435 kilometers so I did the math so we're running at eight to nine kilometers per liter which is not bad considering the size of the urban and that I've been riding the this van like in the city uh, so here in Cebu, you know, the traffic is like horrible. You know, it's terrible. It's yeah. Well, you get the point, right? You know, traffic is bad. Okay, but the consumption of the urban is pretty decent. So, um, what else? You know, I'm basically starting already. You know, I'm telling you what the urban is all about. Um, yeah, five-speed manual transmission. Uh, it's a van. You got a leaf spring suspension at the back, which is meant for you know, uh, loading heavy stuff for a lot of people, depends on you, and um, yeah, so things that I really like about the Urban, well, number one, I already mentioned it, it's the engine, you know, reliable, it's fuel efficient, it's powerful, and um, yeah, and the second reason what I like about the Urban is that you could basically do anything with the urban. You can, you can uh, again carry people, uh, load stuff, and also you can customize it. Like the other day, you know, I decided to remove the fourth row seat at the back. You know, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, I removed that because I wanted more cargo space to carry more laundry and uh, deliverables. LPG and the groceries and stuff like that. So yeah, I just removed it with a 14 uh, 14 millimeter uh, socket wrench and then uh, four bolts. That's it. Remove. Okay. If I want to remove all seats, I can do that easily also on my own. So yeah. So third reason that I like the Urban is that for me as a driver, you know. Um, driver comfort is a must okay, regardless of what you're driving okay uh, may it be a truck a sedan or or SUV or pickup you know driver comfort is a priority and I'm very picky about that and then so far you know with my experience with the urban you know I'm okay you know I'm I'm fine with this uh, it's not the most spacious but there's enough room for me to move my legs and operate the pedals and um, the seat is firm you know and it's not you know you, you, I don't get the the usual low back pain uh, which is surprising surprising for me uh, you know that the urban is probably one of the most comfortable seats that I've ever you know put my ass on and uh, and along with comfort of course is the air conditioning okay air conditioning is a must if you are in the Philippines you must have really good air conditioning in your car okay it doesn't matter what your brand is it doesn't matter uh, how many horsepower your vehicle has if your car has crappy air conditioning then you have a crappy car and uh, the Nissan does not disappoint you know and it lives up to the hype the legend of Nissan air conditioning it is cold as F I tell you you know uh, the second best air conditioner that I have experienced was with Suzuki surprising right okay. I had a Suzuki before I had a Suzuki Ertiga and uh, surprisingly the air conditioning was really good on that one and it never gave up but Nissan, no question, air conditioning is number one. Also, um, the driver's seat is adjustable, forward and back, tilting. Uh, there's no like uh, tilt or whatsoever, but uh, it's, it's okay. Uh, there are no hand controls, there are no steering wheel controls on this one, because uh, after all, this is a utility vehicle. Uh, you only get that in uh, those luxury vehicles that you see out there like in BMWs or high-end SUVs and so on and so forth. Okay. 
uh, visibility on the instrumentation like the gauge cluster like you get your standard odometer your speedometer and your fuel gauge all the necessary information that you need to know what's going on with your car right? of course I have my my entertainment system here which is an Android touchscreens stereo uh, which I kind of find uh, stupid but you know I'm gonna talk about that in another video also uh, one more thing that I like about the urban is that the shape of the urban it's a van you know it's it's uh, it's a van it's it's, a, it's basically a rectangle and uh, visibility is so big you know I I believe that there are no blind spots actually you know I can see everything like even with the stock mirrors stock rear view mirror uh, yeah the mirrors on the sides you know I can see all the way to the back if there's one thing that I would like to add would be another mirror at the back portion at the rear so I can see what's going on there the good thing I do have a rear view camera in my screen so which helps a lot also when backing up and um, yeah and it's so easy to navigate the, the urban 350 it's so easy to navigate because it's a simple shape there are no weird or rounded shapes on this one uh, you can make a u-turn right away or you park in a really uh, precarious or what you call this tight space and knowing that you will you know fit right in because you are basically a in your van so easy okay and the okay now the last thing that I really like about the Nissan Urban is that again it's no nonsense and uh, everything is so practical with this vehicle even the wheels are so practical they're like I don't know they're basically everywhere you can buy a brand new set of tires for the Urban anywhere at any price point you know these are the urban is rolling on 15 inch steel wheels steel steel rims uh six six holes pcd 139 so you have a lot of options for aftermarket wheels if you want uh you can basically find uh, these wheels anywhere okay the tires are so cheap uh, last year we replaced the tires because uh, the stock ones, uh, the stock tires lasted us for like around 30,000 kilometers and then um, we had to change. So we bought a set of brand new China made tires and then we were surprised that we were able to get a set for like for as low as 7,000 pesos. And uh, they're still doing okay right now. You know, I've already logged like what, almost 10,000 kilometers on those tires and they're still doing okay. So best bang for your buck probably seven thousand for a set of tires not including the spare though so um, who do I recommend the Nissan Urban to? Uh, I would highly recommend this to you know if you're a family man if you have a big family go ahead get get the Nissan Urban if you are in the transportation business this is the one for you um, if you drive a lot you do deliveries uh, you just want an all-around, no-nonsense, no BS uh, vehicle that can last you a long time. Consider the Urban, okay? And uh, considering also that the engine has been around for like so long, parts are basically everywhere. Uh, it doesn't matter, you know, you, you know, as long as there are parts available, don't worry. But it all comes down to how you maintain your vehicle, you know? I prefer to keep my my vehicle clean in and out and then I have the oil change check I have the oil change you know every 10,000 kilometers this is due for an oil change by the way and uh, you know check everything okay. so what else um, yeah if you are in that area and uh, you know if you're that kind of person like me like a uh, middle-class working family man you know, this would be a perfect choice now would I recommend that you buy brand new or used well it depends on you um, personally if I'm going to 
get for basically family use or if I have a small business uh, I would prefer to get a pre-owned you know, or second-hand vehicle that is in good condition you'd be surprised that the prices of the Nissan Urban have dropped significantly they are approximately at seven to nine hundred thousand for a three-year-old or a four-year-old Nissan Urban considering that when you buy one brand new uh, they were at or during that time 2017 this particular model the Urban Deluxe no this was at 1.580 one million five hundred eighty thousand, and uh, prices dropped, you know, really fast, you know, on this one. Considering that, you know, these are very, you know, handy vehicles, and uh, a lot of people buy these. Now, if you are not confident in getting a, you know, secondhand Nissan Urban, there are plenty of dealers out there in the Philippines. Here. In Okay, ask around, you know, ask for the best deal, and um, yeah, so yeah, this is something worth considering if you're looking for a long-term vehicle. So, yeah, that's it for this episode of me talking about the good things, the things that I like about the Urban. Uh, I'm gonna make a <laughs> gonna make a video about the things that I don't like, and for that episode, I'm gonna have to stop, you know, and take know shots of the things that I don't like because the things that I don't like are very specific so anyway catch you on that one and if you like this video like and subscribe you know the drill help me out man again hope to see you next time Bye.